Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing about how to study organic chemistry. So, I uh, will start from the zero level, who are at the zero level, who uh, face very difficulties with studying of organic chemistry and, and how to overcome it. Let me uh, share you some, uh, some of this here. Okay, so uh, when we say organic chemistry, first we have to know that organic chemistry means it's a branch of chemistry where we are going to mostly deal with the carbon compounds. Let us start with the simple molecules. Okay, here, let me take CH3, CH2, CH3. I have written here uh, this compound. Now, those who, are, who, who, those who don't know, those who are at zero level, or uh, those who, okay, uh, they may ask why this carbon has only three hydrogen, why this carbon has two hydrogen, or if you know it, okay, mm, it's good okay so this three uh, we should always remember that carbon should have four valency uh, so we should always maintain the four valency like here see this carbon has how many valency let's see three four okay satisfied this carbon one two three four that is why here hydrogen is two this is a single bond with this three it has valency it's four valency three four one two three four three okay now in this way you can make a numbers of hydrocarbons or numbers of hydrocarbons in by yourself see I will extend it here see I have just put a single bond here now putting hydrogen is easy one bond we require four so three plus one four three four with this three and this four one two three we require only one so hydrogen so we can make a numbers of alkene you can practice it by yourself you can make many compounds okay so i can even take four carbons in this way see let me balance it carbon should have four valency so three with this four three with this four three with this one four so three with this one four this carbon at the center one two three four it has already satisfied so we don't require to put any hydrogen here now so carbon organic chemistry means we are going to deal with carbon compounds carbon with the oxygen okay i will start with carbon with oxygen now as we have already know about the carbon uh, has should have four valency then i can balance it by putting three hydrogen here now we should also know the valency of oxygen that is two so oxygen should have two bonds either in the form of single bond or either in the form of double bond so oxygen let me also complete this a bond there should be someone so c h what three right so let me write another compound c h three okay oxygen with i can also write as h instead of c i can write h okay uh, so now i will write another compound carbon and oxygen double bond that oxygen should have two valency here it is in the form of single single bond here it is in the form of double bond okay you can put here either hydrogen or you can put either carbon okay so one two three four this carbon is also valence hydrogen has one valency so it is single bond now after doing this we can also talk about nitrogen let us see some more compounds nitrogen carbon nitrogen with carbon carbon can be with any bonds okay carbon oxygen carbon nitrogen now this carbon as we have learned it has four valency i can directly correct it three four now nitrogen you should also know the valency of nitrogen nitrogen has three valency so i will put here already one bond has satisfied we require three so two three see uh, this is how we should write how to write the compounds properly okay now see after naming this our main thing is we should know the name IUPAC nomenclature and some of the common names okay so what to, what name should we give for this compound what names IUPAC name should be given for this compound what will be the name of this compound right what is the name of this compound now it is different oxygen has came oxygen with CH3 oxygen with H carbon with double bonded oxygen what is the name of this compound 
for this to make it clear you have to go for the uh, first year organic chemistry the IUPSC nomenclature should be very clear that means it's not that you have practiced uh, two three questions or 10 to 20 questions uh, that will not be enough you have to be very thorough with that organic part with that IUPSC naming right then only things will go easier because uh, you, you will not uh, you can't memorize or you can't by heart this organic chemistry because there will be a numbers of reaction and if you memorize it in exam there will be some changes in the carbon compounds things general uh, process okay the reactions will be similar but the uh, alkyl group some of the groups will get changed so at that time you will get confused if you memorize it and whatever the efforts you put it will it will not be of use okay so first you have to understand the things then only now what thing you have to do is that by clearing your IUPSC you will feel easy the things you will uh, you will know how uh, you will understand when while you read by yourself okay so uh, clear it the nomenclature very thoroughly okay uh, not just you practice one day or two day it's an uh, uh, don't go with that you practice for uh, every day at, uh, it's a, a properly the organic chemistry okay the IUPSC part then only practicing of IUPSC part is not enough we have to know that basic part uh, these are all included in the first year okay um, yeah second year we have four chapters but things should be cleared in the first year if you are not clear you have to, uh, to clear it by yourself okay or you take the help of any sources you take the help of there are so many uh, sources now available okay you can take the help so clear the IUPSC nomenclature okay 